Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to switch to optics, and in, sp in particular, light reflection with plane mirrors. Now, the reason why I'm adding a few more videos on this is because I've noticed some of my own students when I teach optics have a really tough time dealing with how to calculate the angles of reflection and the direction of the reflected light, especially when the angles are not perpendicular, when we have other than 90 degree angles. So we're going to start out with a fairly easy, straightforward problem where indeed the angle right here is 90 degrees. So this is a mirror, this is a mirror. We have a ray coming in at an angle of 50 degrees relative to the mirror itself. Not to the perpendicular of the mirror, but to the mirror. So we have to be careful because when we deal with reflection, we know that the angle of incidence, or I should say the angle of reflection is always equal to the angle of incidence, but that angle is relative to the normal of the mirror, the normal of the plane of the mirror, not the angle relative to the mirror. So we have to be careful of that. All right, so here we have an, an, an array coming in at 50 degrees. Let's always draw the normal to the mirror where the light is incident to the mirror. And then we identify the incident angle. So that's theta sub i, the incident angle. And of course, we know that the reflected angle will be the same. And let me make sure I make it the same. I wasn't going quite in the right direction here. So let's make it look like this. That's much better right there. So this would be the angle of reflection, theta sub r for reflection, and we know that those two have to be equal to each other. Well, if this is 50 degrees, then this angle has to be 40 degrees, 90 minus 50, that makes this a 40 degree angle, which means that this also must be a 40 degree angle. So what is the angle of incidence against this mirror right here? Again, we draw a perpendicular to the mirror, and we're trying to find out what this angle is equal to, angle of incidence. The best way to do that is to go ahead and say, well, what is this angle right here? Since we know that this is a total of a 90 degree angle, 90 minus 40 makes this a 50 degree angle. We know that this is a right angle or 90 degrees. And we know that the sums of the angles of a triangle add up to 180, which means that this angle here has to be 180 minus 90 minus 50. So 180 minus 90 minus 50 degrees, which is 40 degrees, which makes this angle a 40 degree angle, which makes this angle therefore a 50 degree angle because the two add up to 90. So this is a 50 degree angle, which means that the reflected beam right here will have an angle of reflection over here of 50 degrees, which means that the exiting angle has an angle of 50 degrees above the horizontal. And that's how we follow those, the light rays through a corner reflector, as we call it. That's kind of a typical corner reflector where a ray comes in and reflects off and then goes back roughly the same direction that it came in on. Um, now we can see how we go ahead and do that in a very simplistic situation. Now what do we do if the second mirror is not directly upward or perpendicular to the first mirror? What if it's angled inward or angled outward? Well, then we have to take care of that differential in the angle. And on the next videos, I will show you how to do that.